In a very significant development, the case for the full-scale engineering development of two prototypes of AMCA fighter jet has been finalized, and after consultations between the Defense and Finance Ministries, it will be sent for approval to the Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister Modi by early 2022. The development cost of the AMCA program is estimated to be around 15,000 crore rupees, and the Aeronautical Development Agency has set an aggressive timeline for the project, as the first prototype will roll out by 2025, and 36 AMCA Mark I variant powered by General Electric's F-414 engine will enter production in 2030 under a public-private partnership model. Officials have said that a foreign company for the joint development of 110 kN thrust class engine will be selected by early 2022, that will power the remaining 90 AMCA Mark II fighters. They also said that the long pending Make in India project for 114 new fighter jets with some fifth generation capabilities will also get the initial acceptance of necessity in 2022. Having already received 30 Rafale fighter jets from France, the Indian Air Force would start upgrading its Rafale fighters with the 13 India-specific enhancements from January 2022. A high-level team of the Indian Air Force has arrived in France to evaluate the performance of the test bed aircraft with tail number RB008 at the Estrus Air Base of the French Air Force, and the aircraft has been equipped with all the India-specific enhancements agreed upon between the two sides as per the contract signed in 2016. Once these 13 enhancements are approved and accepted by the Indian Air Force, the upgrade work will be started at the Ambala Air Force Station from January 2022, that will make the Rafales more combat capable. After training its pilots in France, the Indian Air Force has now started the training of its pilots on the Rafale fighters within the country itself. The DRDO had tested the vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile twice in February this year, that is being developed to provide air defense to Indian warships, and a canisterized mobile launcher system will now be fabricated, so that the user trials can be conducted from the warships. The VLSR SAM is actually an Astra Mark I beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile that has been modified to be adapted for air defense roles, and it has a range of 40 kilometers. The DRDO has also started work on the Air Force variant of VLSR SAM, that will be mounted on a 4x4 light utility military truck for easy mobility, that will also feature a canisterized mobile launcher system with 360 degrees vertical launch capability. The VLSR SAM will complement the Barak 8 missile in naval warships, and will complement the Spider and Akash air defense systems in the Indian Air Force. The Indian Institute of Technology Delhi has received proposals of over 700 crore rupees from various private firms for industry partnership, to facilitate collaborative research and development of advanced technology. Several government institutions have also invested crores of rupees for doing collaborative research on a large scale with the institute, and the DRDO is also planning to invest around 500 crore rupees for collaborative design and development of defense equipments. The Indian Navy is planning to acquire a sizable number of unmanned aerial vehicles and underwater platforms, to enhance the capabilities in the areas of long-range anti-submarine warfare surveillance and reconnaissance in the Indian Ocean region. The proposed third aircraft carrier will also be designed to accommodate fighter jets drones and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The Indian Navy already operates two Sea Guardian drones, and the Navy is also the lead agency for the procurement of 30 Predator-armed drones from US, and this deal is set to be approved by the Defense Acquisition Council tomorrow, and the contract will be signed in March 2022. The Department of Military Affairs headed by the Chief of Defense Staff has sent the final structure of military theater commands to the three service headquarters, and has given six months to respond to the proposal. 
the three armed services will come back to the Department of Military Affairs with their suggestions or objections, before beginning the process of raising the theater commands. Oh, Mark, drop it.